Published 1805 Eastern Standard Time, the 3rd of March 2018. Updated 323 Eastern Standard Time, the 5th of March 2018. I have been receiving my gas and electricity from First Utility since October 2012. Early in 2015, I decided to switch supplier, but a few days later I changed my mind and decided to stay with First Utility and told them so. Since then I have had serious problems trying to convince it I am still its customer. I even approached the ombudsman and last May first utility paid compensation of £216 for bad billing. I thought everything was settled, but now first utility has credited back to me all my gas bills since 2015, putting my account £1,700 in credit. It still does believe it is my gas supplier, Mrs. SK. I have had serious problems trying to convince it I am still its customer, a reader explains Stony Hetherington replies, most of the complaints I receive about gas and electricity companies are for overcharging, bizarrely, you have been fighting to pay for your gas and electricity for the past three years, while First Utility has insisted it owes you £1,700 it already collected and wants to refund. You asked me, where do I go from here? Do I take the money and run? You did not go ahead with your switch to a different supplier, so First Utility has actually provided you with an uninterrupted supply of gas and electricity since 2012. The problem has been in convincing the company of this. I asked staff at First Utility to investigate. They told me, we are sorry for the issues Mrs. K has experienced with us. They added that an internal technical error last year resulted in your account being treated as if First Utility was not your gas supplier after all. This was halfway towards resolving the matter but perhaps unwisely First Utility told you this latest mistake had nothing to do with its original error of refusing to believe you were a customer. This is even though the offer of a £1,700 refund was for exactly the same reason, a belief it did not supply you with gas even though you had been paying for it. First Utility has now given me a copy of an email it has sent, following a telephone call to you. The email, from a senior executive, tells you, I cannot express how truly sorry I am for any inconvenience caused. I want to personally apologize. The message adds, in light of the shortfall in your service, I have arranged to credit £75 to your energy account as a gesture of goodwill. You have also been sent what I am promised is an up-to-date and accurate bill. Remarkably, because you have fought to get First Utility to accept your payments, you are still in credit. Jailed, Brian Carr was the ringleader. Justice has finally caught up with a gang of timeshare crooks I warned against in 2012 and 2013. Victims were cold called and told buyers had been found for their unwanted timeshare property, but fees had to be paid up front before the deal could go ahead. Once the fees arrived, the gang claimed the buyer had pulled out. The same victims were then contacted again by the fraudsters who used a variety of names for themselves and their companies. Posing as a completely new business, they said that for a further fee they could recover cash lost in the first part of the scam. Finally, the gang contacted victims a third time, claiming to be from the Spanish authorities, and saying that all the lost money would be refunded, but again, there were upfront costs to be paid. Warwickshire Police and the West Mercia Fraud Squad say that the fraud operated from 2012 to 2015 and raked in more than £875,000 from 470 victims. Nine members of the gang were convicted at Stafford Crown Court on charges involving fraud and money laundering. Ringleader Brian Carr, 31, from Redditch was convicted of conspiracy to defraud and perverting the course of justice. He was sentenced to six years and eight months in prison and banned from acting as a company director for ten years. His brother Daniel, 24, was jailed for four years for conspiracy to defraud. Brian Carr was a director of Simple Property Marketing Solutions Limited. I had the alarm in 2012 when his company told a reader of the mail on Sunday it had found a buyer who would pay £7,000 for his Malta timeshare if he paid fees of £995. The reader smelt a rat. The £2,000 timeshare was in Florida. Police will now start proceedings against the gang to recover victims' losses. If you believe you are the victim of financial wrongdoing, write to Tony Hetherington at Financial Mail, 2 Derry Street, London W85 TS or email tony.hetherington at mylawnsunday.co.uk. Because of the high volume of inquiries, personal replies cannot be given. Please send only copies of original documents, which we regret cannot be returned.